Okay, let's start. So we start with a little physical warm-up. We're going to do some hardcore gym workout today. So we need to warm up our muscles. Um, turn, turn back your book so you see the emojis. And uh, we're going to do the first four. We're just going to warm up so the body emojis. We're going to warm up. St first start with the tiger. So just a reminder, I know that some of you of course know it. Um, we are trying to find a position where we sit and lean forward. So we're in a sort of, a, I call it, attacking mode. We are ready to react to anything we need to do musically or cellistically. So what we need to do for the tiger, we do the rocking chair exercise to find where our feet should be on the ground. So put your cello on the side, but just hold it. Hold it with your hand. Don't, yeah? And we start slowly, like a, an old grandma, we start rocking on the chair. Just very, very slowly. Don't lift your butt from the chair. Just slowly start rocking. And as you do it, do more and more of it and find that feeling on your feet that can take you a little bit above the chair. Yeah, and once you feel, oh my God, I'm above the chair, do more of it and more of it. So just put your weight forward and then see when you can actually stand up without any struggle or any um, physical struggle. Just whoop, stand up. So let's do it a few more times and then stand up, everybody. Just without, I don't want to see any pressure. Yes, stand up. Now, look down to your feet. Look where, where it is. It should be pretty parallel to your shoulders. So now let's sit down. And before we put the cello in, Make your feet a little bit Charlie Chaplin wide, like just open it a little bit, but same distance. And then open your knees and put the cello inside. But your feet should be still in that position where we can stand up without any, any pressure. Let's try to stand up for a second and feel that the weight goes equally on your feet. Okay, go back, find this posture a little bit Charlie Chaplin, feet to the side, but quite close to each other and then knees out. Now take the cello, put the bow behind the cello on your, on your legs. And with this position where you lean forward, try to lean forward with the cello so the cello will move a little bit. Yeah, so you feel it on your chest. Now let's just sit and hug, hug the cello. Hug the cello, now both hands on your knees. Again, hug, knees. So the only thing we do now is just we take the forearms and we put them on the cello. Okay? Well, Falda, I can't see you, but I know you're there. Okay, put it down. Now, don't, yeah, I know. Okay, don't take your bow. Don't take your bow. So we're going to go uh, to switch on this tiger forward leaning sitting. We're going to switch between hug and dinner which is the same feeling with your elbows, knees, hug, knees, dinner, yes, Sunny, dinner like this, okay, <laughs> hug, I mean, knees, hug, knees, dinner, okay, now take your bow, and we're going to do the same thing, it's like if you hug somebody and you have your iPhone in your hand, you just just hug them and still keep it in your hand. You don't have to hold it like you're playing, but just keep it in your head. So we do the hug, knees, and then when we go to dinner, what I want you to do is to put your thumb on the neck as if you're in fourth position, but don't put your fingers on the cello. So it will be middle of the bow, like D string or D and G, and thumb stuck at the end of the neck. Okay, that's dinner, knees. Hug, hug, yeah, knees, dinner. Okay, now let's try from dinner posture, from dinner posture, let's just feel the weight goes to both your feet, yeah, and just, just stand up with motion, not with pressure on your muscles, just motion, and go back, knees. Now we're going to do hugs and dinner. And between each one, we're going to stand up. So we do hug, knees, hug.
hug, stand up, back. Dinner, knees, dinner, stand up. Good, so when we play the cello and we are in this dinner position, this active position, we could in any given second stand up like Starker used to say, if there's fire backstage, you are the first one to run away. But that's the feeling. So we can stand up and we have the dinner or the hug. It's the same motion. Okay? Now before we move on to the tree, let's put it on dinner and activate our, both our wrists. So I want you first to do, don't do anything with your left hand. Just activate up and down your right wrist. Up and down. Not your fingers, your wrist. Up and down the wrist. Up and down, good. Now when you feel comfortable, stop for a second and do the same with your left wrist. Left wrist, up and down. Good, now if you feel comfortable, do both. Both. Good, now stop, knees again. Hug. Dinner, which should be the same feeling for your elbows. And now let's just move the two elbows from dinner posture. Two elbows. Now let's move the two wrists. Just the two wrists. Good. Now let's do all four joints, big joints. So we have the elbows and the wrists. It looks like a weird fish in the ocean. Okay? Now, put your bow away. Imagine you have an iPhone here. Now we're doing the tree. So we take the iPhone, we go, go to the right side as much as you can. Much longer than a cello bow. Lean on the right side of your butt and then bring it back to the chair. Good, now take your left hand, take the same iPhone and go the other side, almost falling from the chair. Okay, now take the bow instead of the iPhone, right hand, right hand, go as far as you can, the bow will be away from the chair. Good, and don't move your feet, but move your butt. Good, back, take your left hand, take the bow, and the other side. Good. Now let's do the door hinge. So we take the bow and we put it back in the cupboard. Put it in the cupboard. And you have to feel the stretch in your hips. Then go back to knees. Back to knees. Again, up. Knees. Now do it with the left hand. Take your imaginary iPhone, put it in the cupboard. Good. Back in the cupboard and again. So we warmed up the seating, hug, dinner, three, door hinge. Yeah. And of course the dinner posture is, is there. We also warmed up these muscles. Now we go closer to the cello. So take your left hand. And we're going to go through the five most Im important emojis for left hand. The first one is jellyfish. So just place your hand like you say goodbye to somebody and just drop it up and down. That feeling of relaxation should be there all the time. Now hold a big apple or like a softball in your hand. Don't press your thumb on it. Just hold it and then look at the apple, but also marvel your hand. Look at your hand and marvel the roundness of the finger, the space between the finger. Just really marvel the, this creation that we all have. It's all similar. It all looks beautiful. Now take the apple away, put a strawberry between your thumb and second finger. And again, you, you should be able to see like a, an imaginary binocular between your fingers and thumb. Marvel it. Look at it and marvel it. Now take the strawberry away, put it under G. So put your thumb and second finger under G. Okay, fourth emoji, nails. Nails, turn your nails towards the bridge. Big time. Good. Still feeling the strawberry. Now just go for a slide. That's a slide. Slide your hand up and then it goes away from the cello and back to the G. Good, let's do it a little faster. So, jellyfish, apple, and always look at it. Strawberry, nails to the bridge, and slide. Good, hold your bow with your left hand. Same jellyfish in your right hand. Same jellyfish. Now, I want you to pronate your hand towards the first finger, from your elbow. Almost feel a stretch on your shoulder, but not too much. 
Now do the same thing. Do the same jellyfish, but your hand is pronate. Good. Now put your bow on the middle, balance point, and just drop, drop the jellyfish where you normally put your bow. Hold your bow, sorry. Now pronate your hand and do the same jellyfish. Good.